Are you afraid of being called a moderate? No. I'm, I'm a solid conservative. Uh, and here's what I say. It's, I'm glad you asked that question. I tell a lot of my uh, friends uh, uh, on in the right side of my party, uh, with whom I agree um, a lot, um, most of the time, uh, I am a conservative by any definition. Uh, just ask uh, some of my friends on the left, they'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> on the left? Uh, uh, yeah, but, but, but let me say this. Here's what I tell a lot of my, uh, my friends. Whether you are for this or that has nothing to do in terms of the way forward. It has nothing to do with whether you're conservative or not. We agree on the conservative destination. It is a different in tactics. For example, I agree with I agree with the premise that we need to repeal Obamacare, and I've demonstrated that a hundred million times. By the way, do you agree it's now or never, as Mr. No, Cruz? No, 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 no. No, by, who, who said that? I think Mr. Cruz says it's now or never. Well, Senator Cruz of Texas. No, 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 no. I, look, I, I think you win the argument, uh, and then you and then you succeed. I think the, ar I, the jury's still out. We're still arguing this, and we're making progress. Look, I've known Ted Cruz uh, since we were both staffers uh, years ago, um, and, and, and he's a nice guy. But, uh, but uh, he's got his own thing going on. He's running for president. I get that. And, and we have a difference of opinion on some stuff, but we, we agree on a lot of stuff, too. But let me just say this. I agree that we need to repel Obamacare. Ted Cruz agrees that we need to repel, uh, repel Obamacare. The fact that we have different views on how to get there is a difference in tactics, not on whether you're a conservative or not. If you had two generals that had two different ways, I'm in the Army, as you know, so I like to talk in, in, in Army metaphors. He's talking in strategic terms, Congressman, Mr. Cruz is, and others of like mind. Right, but the goal, my point is, we all agree on the goal, <clears throat> just like two generals agree on the goal, which is to win the campaign or win the war, right? The fifth one believes an air campaign is better, the other believes a ground campaign is better, do not mean they disagree on who the enemy is or what the goal is. It means they have a different strategy or tactic, right? And that my point is conservatives can differ. We agree on the goal. Now, if you believe we should keep Obamacare, I'd say you're not a conservative. But if you have a different way of getting to repeal, it doesn't mean you're not a conservative. It means you have a different view on how to get there. We agree on the same goal. So, look, uh, there's plenty of room in our party for people to agree and disagree on how to get there. My, I've been in this political world for a while, and I was, long before I was elected, uh, I was a staff person, and I was a staffer, as you know, on Capitol Hill, at the White House, and Department of Justice, and elsewhere. And so I, I bring that perspective of what I've seen. I was up there in 90. Uh, 596 in Washington when the government shut down. I remember all that firsthand. Um, so, uh, so sure, I have that experience, and 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 that informs my view on some of these things. And and sometimes that explains why I may differ with a good friend of mine, who's a fellow conservative. We may have a different approach. Uh, but um, what I'm for is the most effective way of achieving our shared goals. He may believe one way is effective, I may believe he or she, whoever the person is, I may believe another way is effective. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me one bit. And when people uh, in my district, uh, in this district, in our district, uh, have a different opinion, you know what I do? I usually either am texting with them, because as you know, I give my cell phone freely, uh, I gave it out in the debate that you moderated uh, a year ago. Uh, I either I email them, I'm on the phone with them. I'm happy to explain how I reach my conclusion. Uh, it's not out of fear. It's not out of whatever. It is out of experience and what I think is the most effective way of getting to where we need to go. And, uh, this, you know. This, this, this intra-party disagreement. 
is a lot more heated than than you're suggesting in some cases. Is it not, Congressman? I mean, some of your colleagues, House and Senate, are now looking at pretty angry folks on to the right mm -hmm. of them who are mm -hmm. saying, no, it's now or never, no compromise. You were talking earlier about how the necessity of compromise. Well, they're saying now or never. I just think now or never is, is so if Certainly it, in terms of the Affordable Care Act. I'm right. On. Well, if it doesn't happen now, does that mean they're going to give up because it was now or never? I mean, come on. Uh, this is a long fight and uh, and we uh, I'm going to I'm going to keep fighting it until I go get go do something else. Uh, and um, so look, here's what I would say about me. Uh, are there people that are heated? Sure. I try my best to, um, whether I agree with people or not, and I think if you ask around my conference, our conference, our conference in D.C., the Republican conference, I think people would, would bear this out. Uh, I try to get along with everybody, whether I agree with them or not. Uh, I don't have a lot of heated uh, whatever uh, exchanges in, in with my colleagues. I get along with most everybody, uh, not because I go along to get along. I disagree with a lot of them, uh, but I'm civil. Uh, I disagree with Justin Amash, for example, on a lot of stuff. Now, I voted for his NSA amendment because I agreed with him on the Fourth Amendment. And what I try to do is, uh, uh, I just, I'm civil on this stuff, I try to be. And um, so I don't get, I don't get caught up in that. Look, uh, but I hear from those people you're talking about. I mean, most of them have my cell phone, Steve. Most of them, I, I get text. Are you afraid they've got your number in more ways than one? Are you are you are you concerned about the right? You're, I'm a you're conservative. Right for it. I'm a conservative. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I represent. I represent everybody that I can in this district, uh, and uh, I have to make a decision on votes, obviously. But I help my constituent service, for example, is, is broad, and uh, so uh, what I've learned is if you'll communicate with folks. That's 90% of it. I give them my cell phone so we can have a conversation. And I tell a lot of people, uh, I, I can't ask that everybody agree with me. i got 700,000 constituents. But I challenge them to find a more accessible congressman in, 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 in the United States Congress uh, and uh, who, will, who they can reach uh, almost any time. Uh, and it, sometimes it interrupts the dinner table. But... Uh, so, no, I'm not concerned about a uh, right. I'm a conservative. Uh, I don't agree. I don't ask that everybody agree with me. Uh, I visit with my uh, constituents, ones that I agree with, ones that I disagree with, ones on the right, ones on the left, um, all the time. 